so today in Taiwan, I am at the Jinong Market. So this is one of the most popular destinations for night markets here in Taiwan. It's a little bit outside of Taipei, maybe like an hour drive because there's some traffic, but it is absolutely beautiful here. Look at this little temple behind me. This looks so cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to go in to record, but I'm going to show you as much as I can. But like the shrine and everything is absolutely amazing. I saw somebody praying to this too. Um, I'm not. I, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble, so I don't know if I'm allowed to go in there and film. But look at this place; it looks so beautiful. And then, like during the nighttime, those lanterns are actually lit up. And all along this street, well, there's actually food right now. But we're gonna come back when it's um, nighttime because it's a lot more um, like exciting because like there's like so much more like nightlife going on but you see this street it has all these lanterns you see this oh look at this building it looks like the chinese dramas but yeah there's of course you see street food all over this road so it's going to be so much more hype at night i can't wait i'm not that hungry right now so we're not getting any food but we can look at some of the stuff i'm gonna go walk around sightsee a little bit and kill some time before it's dark and all the lanterns are lit up because that's what that's when um, it's going to be the most fun to eat this food. <sighs> okay, what do we got over here? I'm not even sure what. Oh, oyster movicelli. That's really popular. So there's some places to walk around, look at. I'll be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I came to Taiwan just like for fun. And I think that's the best way to get content, you know? Like people are telling you where to go. I've never heard of this place before, but apparently it's very, very popular. And I can see why. It's so pretty. It's that little street right there. But we're just gonna walk around. If I see anything cool, I'll show you guys. It's just like basically the same thing right now. Um, just a lot of little stores that I'm gonna look around at. And I'm gonna see if I can find any like really pretty places to look at for sightseeing. Oh, but I'm excited. I'm excited for the nightlife. That's gonna be fun to walk around and eat food at. I was wondering why it's so much colder here than it is in Taipei. It's right near the coast or near the port. Look at this, this is such a beautiful view. I love going anywhere that's like near the ocean or whatnot because I just love the ocean. I love the water. Mountain, Keelung, that's so cool. So this is the city right here, the whole view. Very beautiful. But um, I walked past by this and it looks pretty cool. Do you like, is this like to make a wish or something? I'm not sure, but it's a really cool little shrine area in the middle of the city. But I'm kind of enticed to go up for exercise or at least see what's up there. So we're gonna go on up. What it is, but it looks like it leads up to a shrine and I think it says I'm not allowed to go up there, but that's pretty cool. Wow. I know I'm not out of shape like i do cardio every day but stairs really kills me man Whew, going up the stairs oh my god it is a beautiful view up here though it's really cool really really pretty area it's awesome you see this building this building is rainbow that's so cute another shrine there's so many shrines here it's so pretty wow in the front these are such pretty plants seriously it looks like the chinese dramas oh look at that cool looking statues guys i'm walking and there's a super cute little shiba oh my god hi hey baby it's okay oh my god he's so cute can i pet you is it okay if i pet you want to lick my hand oh my god he's so cute Guys, it is finally time. It is about five o'clock right now. The night market is just about starting. I see everybody getting set up. So let's go take a look. I, I don't even know where to start. Like there is just so much stuff going on. There's like a lot of um, little shops too. Also, I played a lot. Like I said in a previous video, it's very popular with those claw machines. So you can actually win stuff. I want this cute little picky keychain for my wallet. How cute is that? So I brought a coin purse. You kind of like get so much coins everywhere. So if you don't bring a coin little wallet purse. I actually bought this here. This was like maybe um, five bucks. Five bucks here in Taiwan. But yeah, look at my cute little piggy. I want it from the claw machine. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at this. This is some meat pies. 
So one is 15, or two is 30. This looks so good. Oh my God. I should put some sauce into that. Okay. Oh my God, look at all that cooking. That looks so freaking amazing. a fresh batch right now. She's turning over the, uh, the buns. It, it smells so freaking good. Look how crispy that is. My goodness. I can't believe two of these is only 30 uh, yuan, which is like about a dollar. So it's like 50 cents each bun. Just got another batch going here, but those are almost done. Here at the bag. I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit first because it's so hot. She gave me this cute little purple bag to hold it in. Oh, look at that, it's an ice cream machine. We're gonna keep walking. Oh, look at some stuff. So there's so much random stuff you can buy at these night markets too. What's over here? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, like little manicure stuff. Okay, cute. Ooh, we got even like some prizes to win here. I kind of want to play. I like these uh, balloon popping stuff, but I would love to win this. I just don't have enough space in my luggage to carry all this. Oh, but there's a Hello Kitty plushie. Okay, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Reina, you don't need it. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Oh my God, there's even dogs barking. That's so cute. They even have like gadgets here for you to like vlog with. That's actually so cool. This is actually such a useful stand for people who are trying to vlog. You got some dried fruits for sale here. Oh, are these like dog clothes? These are like dog clothes, how cute. Oh my God, more games over here. Oh my God, I wanna win those. Okay, more games. I assume this is like all the gaming section. So we're gonna head to the food section. That's what we're like looking for, but this is just like a lot of cool stuff to look at. I like looking at things. It's very addicting, very pretty. Maybe I'll find another cute wallet to buy because um, I have a lot of like money from different countries. I kind of want to separate my um, cash, you know? I have to get it. I got this at the other night market, but I freaking love fried stinky tofu. So getting another order here, it's about $2. Let's try there. In a bag full of sauce and vegetables. Okay, let's try it. Mm. <laughs> That's good. I love the cabbages with it. Oh, I don't know why I'm so addicted to this. I just love tofu. Mm. Cool down a little bit. These were the stuff that I saw earlier. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. That's good. It's so soft and fluffy. Mm. Very, very good flavor. Details, look at that. Oh, it's so juicy. A little bit of meat, super crispy on the sides. Fun. Oh. That's so good. Together, like this, some of the vegetable from the stinky tofu and some sauce. I'm putting on top of the bun and eating it with tofu. So good, by the way. It's like sweet and barbecuey. Mm. Mm. That's good. Walk a little bit, see what else we can find. Ooh, we got a little guide to this night market. Um, I have no idea how to use it, so I'm just gonna like explore and see what else we can find. I think that's the best way to do this. Ooh, we got some sushi over here. Okay. More, is that sushi? Oh no, that's takoyaki or some sort of like fried squid. Ooh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Looks like fish balls, maybe. <clears throat> Nothing really appealing to me yet. Fruits. Oh, I also bought a Diet Coke at 7-Eleven and it has bleach on it. This is one of my favorite animes ever. Some sort of soup. Oh, nice. This one has like a little bit of sit down area. That's cute. Ooh, let's look at some more claw machines. Dude, I'm so addicted to these claw machines ever since winning a little bit. I think I've said it before, like they actually like make it so you can, <laughs> is that a fried chicken <laughs> keychain? <laughs> okay, I, I, I gotta try this. Keychain, let's, let's try winning this. 
I don't know. I, I find this too funny. Oh. Oh. All right. Maybe one more try. It's kind of... Hmm. How should I? Maybe this one on the side here. Okay, I completely missed. I'm so good at this game. Alright, if I, if I don't hit this one, I'm yeah, I give up. I give up. I think this one, I think the claw thing, some of them you can tell it's a little bit too rigged. So we're not gonna waste more time with that one. But every try is only like 30 cents, so that was just like a dollar wasted. Whatever. It's really a thing to play these. Like I, I get, I, I think I spent up to five dollars on one before. You know, this is actually a really useful one. This is conditioner and shampoo set. We can actually win this. Some of the, like I've seen like prizes like toilet paper and um, uh, napkins and makeup wipes. Like they literally have everything in these uh, candy machines. It's actually so funny. This one is five skewers for a hundred, which is like about five skewers for one dollar. Ooh, they look good. So they like cook it up for you over there. That's all. I want milk to here. Ooh, we got some barbecue corn. Cool. Ooh, it's starting to smell really good. I feel like I'm getting into the more busy area. What is this? This is like the buns we had earlier. I have no idea what this is, but it looks good. Ooh, fried crab, fried seafood. Wow, massive stand for this one. It's cooking over here, but it looks like some sort of patty. We got sausages on this side. Ooh, those look good. Fried chicken. Ooh, that looks good too. More seafood. Ooh, we even got some dim sum, some dumplings and stuff. How cool. <laughs> I really don't know what to get. I'm kind of just walking around looking at stuff. Ooh, we got some patties. These look great. Oh my the God. stands that have like little seating areas for you, which is really nice. Because a lot of the times it's really hard um, to walk and eat because everything's spilling everywhere, at least for me. Roast duck burritos. That looks good. Wow, maybe come back and try that later. I'm just kind of like walking around and looking at stuff. Ooh, that's the lantern area. That's a really pretty one. Oh my gosh, more of these skewers. Oh, this one's a little bit different. Ooh, we got some squid skewers. Look at that. Wow. We got to get one of those. I just ordered one. They are cooking it up right now. It's going to take about five minutes. They gave me a number to wait for it. But look, this is like the main area. Ooh. Looks like the squid is very popular. It looks like that stand is also doing the squids. Ooh, that stand is doing the uh, sweet, sweet, like, um, sweet fruit candy. That's how I could describe it. More squid. Oh, like the size of those tentacles. Oh my god, those are huge. Wow. I, I thought these were bugs, but it's sort of some kind of seashell. So they sell snails in like squid jerky here. But seriously, look at the size of that. That's crazy. All right, guys, so take a look at this. It is massive. Let's eat one of the tentacles. I got extra spicy. It actually tastes really freaking good. Oh, the batter is amazing. And super crispy. I got extra spicy. You see all the spices on there? Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to walk a little bit, eat this slowly, while I explore the rest of the line market. Mm. This is actually so good. Oh. Alright guys, so unfortunately, they had told me that the lanterns won't be lit up tonight. But we have this massive squid to keep us company, so that's fine. I'm gonna keep looking, eat this slowly as I'm walking. But, mm. ooh. Oh, this is pretty. 
This is uh, the temple I saw this morning. Cool. Now the lanterns in here are lit up. It's very pretty. Yeah, I swear, the squid is actually so good. Oh my god. What are people lining up for this one? This one's so long. Let's go check it out. Spare ribs. Spare a soup. rolls. My mom makes these. Oh yeah. I like how these stands tell you on the top in English what these are. Crab soup. Mm -hmm. Some juice. Oh, what are they selling in the front here? <coughs> Excuse me. It's cold. Some fruits? Oh, looks like we like reached the end, but yeah, that's... Really so as you reach the end, the, uh, it's actually kind of hard to eat towards the end, but um, they give you an option of cutting it up. I just asked for the whole piece for the video because it looks so cool. Mm. Oh, this is so good. For squid, it's actually really tender. Usually a lot of times squid is um, really chewy, but this one's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I just crossed the road. I didn't know there was a whole nother side end of the road on this night market, so there's more to explore on this side. It's kind of crazy how big this is actually. Okay, let's see what this place has to offer. We got drinks, we got desserts, we got takoyaki on that side. Oh, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty pancakes. More pancakes. Okay. I love these things. These are pinwheel cakes. They have different flavors here. It's only 20 yen, which is less than a dollar. Oh my goodness. I'm much done with the night market. I'm getting very tired. Um, I've been sleeping pretty early, but this is my little dessert. Oh, oh my God. I swished right out. Mmm. Very crispy. Mm. The red bean isn't too sweet. I love red bean filling so much. Mm. Nice and creamy. Mm. Yeah, this was a very fun night market to go at. Definitely very festive. Lots of things to do. Lots of games to play. Like this area is very, very beautiful. So I highly recommend you coming here to experience the night market. I believe it's the Ki Ling night market. So yeah, definitely check this place out if you ever visit Taiwan. This place is great. I, I literally was here since like a uh, noon. It was like very bright early. I've been here this area for like six hours. So I'm gonna call it cab to get back to Taipei. But yeah, highly recommend you check this place out. There's a beautiful canal right there that I was walking to. And you saw all the temples and shrines that I was walking and saw. Very, very beautiful area to um, just come visit. So definitely check this place out if you come to Taiwan. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming. And on my Instagram page, I do a lot of giveaways. And on my Twitter page, I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.